Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 19 of Shadow Home. So today finally I think the the outer perimeter here will will truly grow under our caress. <laughs> We're going to finish this part here and let those dwarves move into their new apartments. I don't know where I'll end up apart from Checking back with this uh, person trying to be a citizen here. We have a first uh, person asking for a citizenship. There we go. But first, I want to get this part here done. And I definitely want to go one layer deeper today in the adamantine mine. So there's a couple of things that we're going to get done today. Oh, and there's another thing that I want to get done which I will order in a second and that is steel gear hell yeah so I'm going to go for a one-time breastplate gauntlet greaves and shield So this will keep our industry busy for a while. And steel short swords and steel spears. There we go. The armor stuff, I'm going to make 20 of each. There we go. The weapon snot. Alright. So... That was the other thing that I absolutely wanted to get done finally, so we can get our third and maybe even fourth squadron ready. Okay, that's taught palm clasp, or oh, palm clasp, yeah, it's palm, I guess. Who are you? So, oh, oh, somebody from a former, uh, from a uh, former fortress, it's quite an interesting question for me why this guy is asking for a citizenship like this usually they just uh, migrate into your city this would mean if I understand the systematics of the game correctly that this guy at some point left our place to become an adventurer I can only assume at this point what this uh, all is about, but, uh, well. There goes my idea. So, let's see. I will finally get down to lay down some glass blocks here. Been very, very much looking forward to that. So, let's go and uh, notice that we're uh, going nowhere here. <laughs> so now let's try it again uh, oh come on you guys is this a, some sort of a weird conspiracy a cyclops all right going to eat that guy for breakfast or or that lady whatever oh look at that there's even diamond there in the wall still that i have overlooked how could I? So, let's do this, finally. Alright. I want to get at least some parts of the glass floor down. Okay, that should get us somewhere. Now off to that Cyclops. Charcoal Heavens the White Comet. What a name. So, yeah, this thing, this thing killed a few. Let's, uh, let's send the help of Gears. Confirm the attack and see where this will lead. Let's follow the last moments of, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce the first name, Charcoal Heavens, the White Comet. 
very sorry for the anticlimactic intro, but it is what it is. I can't pronounce its name. Nepe? I don't know. So, terrified while in conflict, afraid while experiencing trauma. Those were the last two thoughts that I was able to excerpt, uh, to excerpt out of this uh, thing here. So, a hack into the lower right leg that twists the knee, two shots missed the ex-lord, and a hack into the upper body. A missed charge, another missed shot there, another hack into the leg, another missed char uh, shot. Wow. Yeah, so these guys, they're just not getting hit by that fella. And then, uh, well, some head hits. Well... We don't need to uh, witness this in all its gory details, but uh, it is pretty clear that this thing didn't stand a chance. As I have expected, in all honesty. Cyclops are relatively harmless enemies, in all honesty. It sounds a little bit mean, but a experienced Dwarven military force can get these guys under control extremely easy. I wasn't afraid about anything happen whatsoever, just so you know. All right, we have all our mine cards together. It's time to wait a sec, not this. It's time to flick the switches. Because I want to build some more magma workshop there. Speaking about magma, there's some yeah, all right. Let's uh, get that uh, canal digging going right there, right now. Oh boy, oh boy. There's uh, there's more. We could tap into two veins at once. All right, it's obsidianizing those uh, those holes in the ground. Pretty much expected that, in all honesty. That's good, that's good. It's freeing up territory quite quickly. I appreciate that. This is, as far as my personal uh, impressions of uh, adamantine mining go, one of the best uh, things to happen. There we go. Because I don't need all these holes in the ground anyways. We're going to pump it dry eventually, I guess. But, well, not now, obviously. Good. How's work going outside there? Yeah, it's uh, glacial, right? Yeah. Just as I had expected. But, I mean, at least we're, uh, we're making progress. It's just something I need to be patient with, I guess. But the new apartments have been uh, have been partially climbed. A couple of free bedrooms remain. Let's see. I want to monitor this to see how how much uh, extra bedroom space I really need. Don't want to do anything unnecessary here. So let's get her. Scrying down here. There we go. And we can already pluck out these. So there is a cavity for sure. Sadly can't put a uh, door on top of a magma splotch. And there's the endless killing of the chaos. Our battle-hardened uh, veterans here. I guess everybody of these has a couple of uh, burp kills by now. There we go. We could even we were we even had the uh, honor to witness one of these. I gotta say, I am very very happy with my decision to have my military stand here in the entrance uh, tunnel like that. It seriously kept so much uh, annoyance of off of me. It's really nice. I uh, didn't expect it to be such a potent solution to many, many problems, is all I want to say. Okay, now, um, here. 
Let's uh, flip that switch back. And this gives us the ammunition to mo make more, four more uh, magma workshops. And then we're going to flush the magma toilet yet again. All right, how's life there? Stuff's drying really painstakingly slow. I, I really gotta say this is one of the things I hate most when you're just sitting there and waiting for magma splotches to dry up. That's why we're making new and more magma splotches now. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? That's nah, not really, but uh... Okay, there's uh, two cavities up there, so... We're in danger when it comes down to this area, but uh... Let, let's open up the place. I, I really like to go for these things first, as they are always um, very easy to breach, and you get a lot of uh, free space out of that. Okay, that is uh, a lot more magma than I expected, though. Holy cow. Um, Okay, this is uh, way more than I have bargained for. This is also more than uh, will naturally evaporate. I mean, this is no problem at all. All we're going, all we got to do is uh, put uh, put water on top of it. No need to worry. I didn't expect it though. That's all I want to say. This was uh, a much much. Uh, larger magma pocket than I expected. But the good news about that is we'll have a lot of room to move through once this is done because we can chop away all these uh, areas here where we know that there's nothing uh, to be worried about there. So we can widen this thing. This will be quite useful except for the fact that I need, <laughs> that I need to help my, uh, my pump back to uh, to come back to its job <laughs> but yeah whatever i also realized that i missed a spot here <laughs> yesterday i don't know just happened okay church good or or something like that we're making really really Glacial progress with this stuff here. I'm uh, feeling quite bad about the uh, progression speed of my outside yard project, but at the same time, I am just impatient. I am well aware of that. So, some walls. Sploosh. This will take a while. This will take a while. Well, it's what I get for, for, for being impatient, I guess. Oh my god, that's a lot of cave spider remains. Ah, well. There, there is also a, a pretty promising project up on the uh, horizon to claim this area here permanently. Because I recently realized that uh, the, the roof ends here. So... If we'd be pulling up some walls on strategical places, we can easily claim control of this little uh, of this little tree farm here. I mean, if I go into these directions, the uh, vertical axis grows and grows. Although it is no uh, impossible ordeal to build a wall up until the up on, until you hit, hit the roof. <laughs> By no means rocket science or anything there. It's just annoying to do. All right. One day I'll have to uh, change up something about this, but uh, this day is not today. For today, I really hope that I can make as much progress here on the yard as possible. I wanted to do more progress on the adamantine mine, but uh, yeah, well, about that project. Um, yeah. 
the Water Bucket Brigade will see this through. That's the good news about it all. We don't need to worry about anything. So, about that uh, pond deer, though. So... I did order my Fisher Dwarfs to fish only deer, right? And now I did never realize whether or not there was a notification about us being able or unable to fish deer. So, let's see. Oh, man. It's going to be impossible to find any fishing tasks here. Fill pond. Oh, I can search by now. So, prepare a raw fish. Doesn't look like they are going to fish anytime too soon on my underground pond, though. Hmm. Uncool, guys. Uncool. Hmm. I mean, like I said initially, when I was starting this project, I, I knew that I was uh, reenacting something I only read about on Reddit. Sheesh. It feels as if I'm not getting anything done here with that, uh, whatever bucket that we pour into there. It, it, that's not true. It works. <laughs> it's just... So much magma. I mean, we opened up here a cavity of uh, five, seven, fifteen grids times seven. Yeah, that's quite a lot of magma. Okay, well then, the good news is to see that over here, we're making really, truly good progress. Yeah, currently they're uh, not continuing the wall here until these floorboards here are done. But, well, it is what it is. <laughs> but the good news is we are now at a uh, global level of two. So, uh, from the next bucket on, we're working towards evaporation. Seeing this, I really got to uh, slap a hole into the ground and uh, get some more bucket dwarfs working. It's just taking too long. With two more people working on this, we will have this job done much, much faster. And it is... Uh, Clearly noticeable how important it is. It takes just so darn long. But this, yeah, this is making me really, really happy to see that happen. Okay. So, let's see. How many of these are really necessary here, after all? Honest answers. So, there's... Uh... Except for the fishery, nothing there. That still is required. Okay. Since the infrastructure of this place has changed, we're going to place down the fisheries here. That jeweler certainly is not needed anymore. Oh, the mechanics workshop. Yeah. That one. There's a couple of paper things even lying around here. Ruby. Alright, 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 alright. So, about the mechanics workshop. We're simply going to replace um, two of the stone workers workshops with mechanics workshops and then the job's done. I don't need to sweat it on this end uh, either. I just want to make sure that we finally got rid of all this uh, old clutter and finally make things nice okay all 
There we go. And that's how we move him downstairs. Good. So the only last, the, the last thing that uh, remains here is the trade depot, but even that will be now relocated over here for the time being. I want to give it another uh, place in the at the end of the day, but uh, for today, I finally want to uh, get this place carpeted. You know, AKA get some stones on the floor and we're going to use talk here i i, I really want to oh all the all the old levers oh shoot ah well it's all the old waterworks that we in all honesty don't need to activate or reactivate ever again so we can remove these I just hope that the uh, bridges will not snap open once we just deconstruct uh, the levers. That would be a flippin' tragedy. I have no clue. That would be the end of our, uh, of our livestock. Maybe we shouldn't do that. But uh, on the other end, if it would have done anything, it would have happened already. So no, the uh, mechanisms don't uh, don't uh, deactivate when the connected lever is uh, deconstructed. I never knew until I now knew. Gave me for a, for a heartbeat a very very nervous feeling, as the flood would seek its way through various spots of the fort. But uh, well, eh, it's all fine. If anything, we're reducing the uh, risk here in, in a bigger picture, as now nobody can accidentally flood the fort anymore. Because if there's no lever to flick, the bridges will always stay up, uh, up like that. Just a thought of mine. Alrighty, so let's see. How's life down here? Oh, well, it's uh, bubbling and broiling. Not so cool, but uh, well better than before and it shows that we are finally reaching the spot where where magma evaporation is uh, considering to happen again after we flooded this entire place with uh wolf rock but well such is the nature of adamantine mining in all honesty i personally feel like this is one of the best uh, designed parts of the game because I, I don't think it is uh, easy to... God, how many are there? Um, it's not easy to say how, how, how cool it is. Uh, how this works all in all. Wait a sec, people are stranded? Oh. Whoopsie. It's basically like Dwarven Minesweeper. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And the food stockpiles are exceeding uh, its limits again. There's a constant cloud of miasma around there. This is not good. So I need to reconstruct a lot of these. What's really terrifying me is that this list is still so flipping long. It was about time that somebody stopped these mad fishermen. They have uh, created, before they created a black hole out of, uh, created of, out of muscle shells. You see this matter compression, this is <laughs> going places. If you know, you know. All right. Luckily, chitin is not really heavy, so we, uh, we were not, uh, my by them. Okay, we got this. Um, what we don't got, what, what we ain't got is uh, an, any access of this cavern in this episode. <laughs> no chance. I mean, I'm afraid, uh, I'm worried about the well-being of the person building this. 
Because this list is still worryingly long. Sheesh. Definitely worth to atom smash these. I'm quite shocked to see how, uh, how how much this has escalated. I mean, they're, they're even here. And a few of them are here. All right, all right guys, it, it, this, is, uh, this, this has gone too far. We need to crunch these uh, muscle shells before they uh, they form a uh, unholy abomination or something like that. This can't happen. Just me making up things. Um, <laughs> just felt like I need to say that. Um, yeah, we're 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 going to make the smasher happen here. I think this is a really really good location for an atom smasher. I rarely use these, but in situations like that, I do. I really, really do. And I'm disappointed with my underground. Did I do anything wrong? I really, really wonder. There's, uh... According to everything I have learned about this topic, we should be able to fish here. Yak leather shield, good job. Let's ogle at that. So, menaces with spikes of yak leather and clear diamond. Okay, on the item is an image of two circles. Okay, okay. Simplistic, I like it. So, we can now stop the bucket brigade from bucketing because we have reached the uh, point of uh, evaporation. Doesn't really necessarily get faster from here only because we decided to uh, pour more water on it rest is just over time most of the grids here are now uh, on a uh, on a uh, on a one the rest will be just happening good so at least that what happened to the magma carts Everything's fine with the magma carts. Also here. Good. Love to see that a few things are just working on out as intended. Good. I consider to increase the workload on the uh, shale and chert uh, stone production. Let's see about that. All right, what I'm doing next is I'm just going to crunch a few of these shells as we obviously have too many of them. I mean, those poor uh, sods here have to lop away at another mountain of, uh, of shells there. But all in all, I am very, very, very happy with today's uh, outcomes as we have successfully reached our way here into the uh, into the next layer it's uh, really really good and while it took us surely some time no uh, no sugar coating here but um at the same moment it uh it opened up a lot of territory there so we can now carve away these nooks and crannies here without worrying about anything because we can already see all the connected walls there so all of these parts that i'm carving away are safe to carve away which is pretty cool you rarely have that luxury that's all i can say that's an odd bug it looks as if there is only a treasure down there, honestly. Because it looks as if I can't see a pickaxe. For a moment I thought it was a, a visual bug that, uh, that, that was uh, around my work orders, but nah, I think there's just an artifact pickaxe lying down there. Alrighty guys, time to say goodbye for today. I think I've made quite some nice uh, progress here. 
we are tidying up on all ends and uh, I, I really appreciate what's happening here. I still want to reorganize that kitchen area as it clearly does not uh, stand up to the challenge, you know? It's just not uh, yielding enough food and all. And um, well, I hope that next episode we're going to brave uh, the depths here a little bit more yet again. I mean, I think we, we made a really, really good step forward. I am just a little bit of an impatient little guy right now. So, but uh, when am I not? Drop me your comments down below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a subscribe. Check out the description box with lots of other Dwarf Fortress goodnesses are happening for you. And of course, feel free to support the channel via the given links down there. I'd be really, really happy to have you. Many thanks to all of you who do. And many thanks to you for watching this video up until the very end. I really, really deeply, deeply appreciate having you folks. Now, guys, go forth, have a good time, and uh, I hope we're going to get some more of this done in the next episode. See you there. Bye-bye.